I was doing a bit of research on a social media and uh, me media platforms, and I came across this comment. Uh, someone that used to be on the board of a WBC ranking, and he reckons that he's going to recommend for uh, Francis uh, Ngannou to be uh, ranked in a top 10. Well, uh, we had a, a discussion. The WBC Board of Governors approved this as a special event. Uh, Ngannou and deserves a world ranking. ranking. I'm uh, making that suggestion to the WBC committee in the rankings. I, I certainly believe he deserves to be ranked and highly ranked, uh, but I am not the one that makes the, the rankings. It's a committee. So I will make my recommendation and they will assess to it. Uh, Ngannou deserves to be ranked. So if he's ranked, it could be a world title fight, a title defense. Nobody uh, hold on a minute. Do you know what you're talking about? The guy is not even a boxer. How can you rank him ahead of Daniel Dubois, Joseph Parker, and Philip Ergovic? Until he can beat any of them three or any top 15 ranked heavyweights in the world, how can you put him into a top 10 ranking? It's like me going on a road or a street and picking up a road sweeper and say to him, right, I'm going to put you in a directorship in one of the top major football clubs. Premier League football club. I never heard such a stupid remark or comment in my life or thinking. So when you see the fight with Francis Ngannou versus Tyson Fury, you can see that Francis Ngannou got no clue about boxing whatsoever. He moved like a robot. He moved like a statue. Now, Tyson Fury wasn't in that fight. Tyson Fury was on holiday in Barbados uh, because that wasn't Tyson Fury. Uh, not the Tyson Fury that we know that fought Dante Wilder, Dillian White and Chisora. Where was the combinations? Where was the heavy punches? There was none at all. In fact, I was cringing when I was watching the fight. The amount of times Tyson Fury held that right hand back was unbelievable. He had so many opportunities to hit Francis, but he didn't. Instead, he was jumping on top of him and holding him so that the runs go quick, so that Tyson can go home and count his money. Now, this obviously made Francis get uh, more recognition. Now, when people come out and put Francis on a pedestal after that fight, well, what they've done is they made Francis head get big because now he thinks he can fight anyone in the world. Well, he can't because he's not as, uh, he's not as good fighter as people make him out to be because now he's coming out wants to challenge uh, Joshua. And Joshua apparently said, no, I don't want to fight him because I want to become a world heavyweight champion. But that's another story anyway. And uh, on that note, if Francis Ngannou fought John Jones in a UFC, my money would be on John Jones because John Jones is more technical fighter. Now, Francis Ngannou might have the uh, uh, build and the power in his end, but he's not as good as uh, John Jones in technical fighting. So my money would be on John Jones. Well, I might be wrong. But that's of my opinion anyway, because everybody's got their opinion. So for Francis Ngannou to come out and be ranked in a top 10 is absolutely ridiculous because it's making a mockery uh, of uh, Queensbury rules. Because the ranking is there for people to go out, box, and be the best boxer there is, and then go up in their rankings and earn a bit of money. So on that The conclusion is these people ahead of the boxing board they're making the boxing into a farce. They're losing the integrity of the boxing. Just because a non-boxer non had a lucky punch and he knocked Tyson down, which he didn't knock him out completely, Tyson got up and he still carried on, regardless whether it was fixed or not. And because of that one lucky punch, you want to rank these men into a top 10. How ridiculous is that? Because... I guarantee you, you take Francis Ngannou and put him against uh, any other heavyweight, even if he's uh, ranked 12, 13, 14, that heavyweight will destroy Francis Ngannou because he's got no boxing experience. It's like me go and find somebody uh, somewhere around the world, uh, put him against a world heavyweight champion, and a lucky punch, he knocks him down. So does that mean that he can be a world champion? And then you put him against a novice who only had about four or five fights in the ring and it destroys him. So what happens then?
it makes a mockery out of the sport, doesn't it? Because anybody in a top 10, top 15 would destroy Francis Ngannou and that's guaranteed because Francis Ngannou hasn't got the technical boxing skills. So just because he had a lucky punch, and I, again, I'll repeat myself, it was premeditated to make it look good, make the fight look good so that people don't mount, you want to rank him. Stop making the boxing into a farce. Start making boxing into a proper sport. On that note, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for further videos. Thank you very much.